You're one of the good ones, ain't you? Thank the Lord for that. Will you get me out of here? Will you get me away from these men? Anything I can do to help you in your time of need, man. I'm in residence at, at Van Horn, if that ain't too far. Not at all. Come on. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Okay, girl. Must be used to foul acting men, then. This weren't my first run in with those crazy hill folk, if that's what you mean. Never too long before they make themselves known. Whenever their appetites grow past what they find in the hills. Still, poor Bradley. He wasn't the brightest nor the bravest, but. Oh my, no one deserves that. Bradley? Is he the fella with you? Yeah. Bradley Hunt, old friend of my cousin's, is taking me home. Guess he thought he could talk himself out of the situation with them. Busy worrying about his own skin, huh? Doesn't sound like much of a man. Maybe, maybe not. Good men, it's hard to come by around these parts, though. Real men ain't like fellas in the books I read. Yeah. <sighs> Just hope I can trust you, mister. We're getting close now. It's nice riding like this. Almost makes me forget about what happened. Why'd you stop, mister? You all right, girl? What was I saying? Yeah. Oh. Can't imagine life if it ain't on horseback. Is this what you do, mister? Ride around the country? Help people in need? Sometimes. We're here. I uh, just dropped me off right in front of the saloon. Here. Take this. Your time and your care. It were nothing, man, real. Well, it was to me. It sure was to me. You be careful out there, ma'am. There's plenty more foul men about. Oh, I will. Thank you. Uh, back to the wolves. Poor woman. <laughs>